So guys, this is my life now. Leaving my log by 5 a.m. and going for pre rounds. There's nothing in internal medicine will not do. Welcome to a day in my life. Walk into the woods at this point in time to start my pre rounds. So for pre rounds, essentially, we are reviewing the patient before the main rounds to make things a lot faster. We'll take their vital signs, take any complaints, institute any immediate management modalities, and give the team complete updates when the full team returns for work the following day. This was me lamenting and it's also encouraging myself about my current post. Literally, just as a nephrology. But the upside, though, is the fact that I'm getting hands on skills, memorial cannulation, sensing essential line, and the fact that dialysis is something pretty much that if one understands, that just gives you some opportunities to work in a few places where otherwise such opportunities would not exist. So that's looking on the bright side. But by and large, the last three weeks have been, I don't know, probably the most intense part of my health experience, apart from. Apart from SCB, so I'm guessing I think I've forgotten something. But otherwise, I'm guessing I'll be living this place in about six weeks. And after that, I'm going to find out what new units I'll be going to. So, this has been the story of my life. I'm not stressed to the limit though, but yeah, I'll be sincere, it has been one hell of an experience. So, yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys. I had a seminar presentation this morning on a topic titled Management of Acute Kidney Injury. And of course, as it is in our climb, you have to be well dressed, well prepared, own your slides, and be ready to answer questions and receive comments. Sometimes positive comments, a few times negative comments. So, this was me taking the presentation that morning. And we'll progress to the next item for the agenda that day. We had World Diabetes Day and we had to educate our immediate community within the hospital environment on the prevention, treatment, the myths and the truths about diabetes as we know it. These are my wonderful colleagues. <laughs> And yeah, this was the highlight of the day where we had our chief resident anchor the session to talk with the crowd at the general outpatient department, who responded by asking very intelligent, very smart questions. And also, we tried to be sure that they understood the message that was passed to them on that day. So we asked them questions as well. And they responded beautifully well. And yeah, shout out to my chief resident, Dr. Ibiti, a very wonderful and a very exceptional leader. Now we move to the clinic. These are my colleagues, Dr. Raria, Dr. Oluchi, and Dr. Esther. Typical of ladies who want to get any opportunity. They would always gist. Ralia was giving us the narrative of how she was under anesthesia for a tooth procedure and she started acting irrationally. Yeah, we get to collect patients during the clinic visit and then we present to the consultant or whoever is the most senior person around we get our clerkings critiqued, management plans ratified and also that forms the basis of our assessments before leaving a unit or before leaving an entire department. Quickly go for word rounds. Typically some days we start at the emergency point. We go with the entire team from the most senior, this was the senior registrar's ward round, down to the most junior, the house officer, or if the medical students are around, they'll typically accompany us. We go to patient bedside and then the house officers will present the summary for old patient or for new patient. It will be a fresh detailed clicking from the very start to the finish. And 
afterwards for nephrology team will typically go to dialysis unit which you will see us heading towards in a few seconds we'll just say hi to them because most of the patients they are undergoing dialysis already so we just want to be sure all those fine and well typically don't do rounds quote unquote in that space and we save the most intense for the last we'll proceed to the intensive care unit where we'll spend most of the time because the patient needs very optimal and very detailed care so we're going to all put on our thinking caps to make sure that no stone is left unturned with regards to care for patients in the ICU and once the work is done for the day house officer you begin to run about to ensure that you carry out all the plans and the instructions that were given for patient care from writing prescription seats, doing investigations, carrying out procedures, and everything surrounding that, including writing consults, receiving new consults, and communicating with the team at all times, giving consistent updates to make sure that the seniors are abreast with what's going on, even while they may no longer be physically within their hospital environment. And once the work is done for the day, you either go back to your room to relax or if you're on call like I was on call on this day, you go and freshen up for the call. Before you know, it's night time and you're seeing new patients at the emergency, most of them very critical and you might be called at any point in time that a patient is gasping, a patient needs urgent attention and you would have to move as fast as the speed of light you commence resuscitation some days you win some days you lose and you just be sad for a while but you have to move on and continue the walk so that's it thank you for sticking to this point i'll see you another time and we leave to fight another day bye